Hello and welcome back. I'm Marumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more E4. Conducteth Martian. We are going to influence all the nations, including Bohemia, because money doesn't matter. Uh, we're also going to influence our subjects, even though they are going to stop being our subjects soon. Just so that they have extra trust and opinion with us. And I think it's time to break the... If we break one of our vassals, Aachen, we will get 50 more reasons with Salzburg. So I'm going to just send them a gift. And that should cause them to have less than negative 50 reasons to not vote for us. We're going to Scootage Toggle on Aachen a bunch. That makes him disloyal. Which makes it so that when we break vassalization, we lose prestige. But he doesn't, he doesn't immediately hate us. So he's now no longer our vassal. He's still a prince. But because we're now only controlling two electors, it goes from negative 150 to just negative 100. Now we have support from this guy. Aachen also still really likes us. Uh, as I mentioned, that 113 is going to get floored to 100 soon. But um, we can also just send him a gift as well to, uh, to fix that. And actually, if we just break all of the vassal relationships now, I think we're probably fine. Can't do it if we have a truce, though. So, Hess, 1600. Yeah, I think we'll just wait on the other ones. We're fine now. Uh, the province has slipped out of control. Minorities in Parma can't be expelled. Yep. This is one of the reasons why I hate not having a strong colonial nation. Spain is going to keep screwing over my ability to export people. Including the one that I had sent recently so while while we have like lack of control we just need to do regular colonization fortunately and i just started expelling minorities here they're probably gonna burn this one too it's gonna cost me like 300 damn diplo points so dumb yeah if we release the other ones right now we'd probably be fine unfortunately we can't because we have a truce but if we were desperate to do it, we could 100% to one province minor and force them to force us to release them. But that would cost us opinion with them. We don't want that. Interesting. The improved relations is actually still at 113. It might be on the January tick that that gets updated then. Or possibly the next time you try to improve with them. Yeah. January tick or next time you try to improve. Bum, 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 bum. Alright, so with Spain, we were talking in chat, we're basically just gonna white piece him, essentially. We're gonna take war reps, because it helps us. Um without giving anything to France. Even though France did a lot of work, and even though we could take some stuff, like, maybe we could afford to take some clay down here if anything's occupied, but if it's not, then... Let's just try to find stuff where there are no forts that we could pick off. The sooner we knock Spain out, the sooner the colonization penalties stop happening. That's actually Scotland. Is that a colony or a full thing? Full city. Thanks for your help, Mr. France man. We'll also take the war reps. That will also protect the one that we just started that was about to get sieged, so. Since we're not currently at war, we could theoretically start a new exported minorities, but I think until this colony gets, like, strong, just not going to worry about it. He transferred most of the occupations to Genoa. Now, the thing about promising territory is that if we don't give him land, he'll be mad, but if we just... 
white peace in five years, I can call him in on promised territory again and probably make him fight Spain. So white peace it is. We also gain one favor that way. Hey France, I think that we should fight Spain. What do you think? Technically, the war reps didn't actually help us. Because we're going to immediately go back to war with them. Well, maybe we should wait a few years. We're coring some of this clay right now. But we don't want France to go after other people. He has a claim on Savoy. Savoy, we would like to get part of the Empire at some point. In fact, we should probably get a claim on that. Austria, I think, right now is too big to force religion on. We really need Austria to be the primary war person. We have Humiliate Rival, but that blocks us from being able to do stuff. Um, we have a subject claim? Yeah. Alright, so let's do this. We're going to cancel the transfer trade. I think it's time to just fight Austria straight up. We're going to cancel transfer trade. Next month we attack Austria. We call France in. Make France help us organize the empire a little bit. We can break vassalization with this guy when? It's Hess and Liege. 1600. Liege is 1603. It's gonna be a while. Yeah, reformed Austria is dirty. I don't like it. Hey France, why don't you wanna help us? Accepting would destabilize? Oh, you still have a truce. You don't have a truce, you just have military access right now you have military access through France sorry through Austria well he's not in any other wars so he should cancel that let's just get our war started maybe we should wait nah if Austria if, if the Ottomans want to come in that's sufficient to make the Ottomans fight Spain now. Fun times. Meanwhile, we're going to stand up here and drill. He doesn't want to join just because he's got military access. Okay, Denmark lost their war. Good. He didn't lose Shellens. Total war score cost for Denmark is still over 100. Due to all of this Danish clay. We should probably make sure we get a claim on Shellens so we can actually get this achievement out of the way. Still feel like I'm being torn in too many different directions. Is Shellens still fighting? Yeah, he's still alive. Just in case, let's dispatch half the army. Someone else is sieging down St. Gallen. I think that's what I declared for, too. Nope, we declared for Zurich. Good. Our truce with Munster is up. Anything wrong with Munster? No. Hungary was just full annexed by Austria. Wow. Subjects gain liberty desire, but we gain money. Deportation center number one gains liberty desire. We could actually use some prestige right now, so... Let's just take the prestige. We lost it when we revoked that vassal.
I'm gonna call him in on promised territory and then I'm gonna just send the entire army off. Try to make sure we have high participation. That way, uh, we're not we're not wasting our uh, our favors. We can actually keep on chaining France into stupid wars against Spain over and over and over again. That's the game plan, anyway. Does France want more than Sundgau? He wants... just soon go, yeah. But he's gonna go fight Spain for us. That's, that's why we called him in. This is... this is... Fran the, the, the we need to come up with like a clever name for this. This is like the Wars of French Idiocy or something. France versus Spain, round two, fight. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm just gonna keep finding ways. We're gonna do it like 20 times. Not 20, but a lot, a lot of times. The bad, bad fight for us. Go to the 12th. Then we'll retreat to another location. We've already won the siege of Vienna though, which is good. Let's move up into the other mountain. No, let's not do that. One positive to that bad fight is that we get participation for it. Tyrol fell, good. Uh-oh. Watch out, guys. France just raised, or uh, Austria just raised war, war taxes. There's no way we can win now. We're in trouble. I should probably just disable that alert, it's kind of silly. War taxes? No way! Whatever shall we do? <laughs> They've raised war taxes. Oh hey look, global trade, that's cool. Obviously we knew we were going to get that because English Channel. Um, to embrace, we need more lands. It spawns in Antwerpen. We'll run some institution spread for now. Just to, I want to be able to sell it to France or the Ottomans. Rigorous researchers love this event. How do you have almost as many sailors as main manpower? Because we're the Dutch. We have a lot of sailors, man. Dutch traditions, plus 25%. Sailors, whoa. Plea for help with rebellious nobles. Lose imperial authority. Uh, sure, we'll spend diplo points on this. I don't care. Monarch points, at this point, um, are pretty much being reserved just for the sake of uh, doing stuff with the Empire. We may want to send an army down here so we can occupy the fort and then we can demand a little bit of clay from Spain in each one of these wars. Not to mention we want an army down there near Congo. Where's the fourth army? Here? So we have 22% participation, the Ottomans have 50. I mean, there is another fort over here. Is this like a separate peaceable person? Yeah. Let's just knock him out. I 
I think we've committed enough of an effort into this war. Let's go home. We're done. I mean, why should we commit more effort than that, really? Our truce with Hess just expired, so... We'll do the same thing we did with the other guy. We're going to Scootish Toggle multiple times. Release the Soil. And then break Vassalization. That puts us at... Pretty good election chance. Price of grain, price of wine goes down for a couple years. It's gonna affect trade income quite a bit. Alright, so in this war, this this is the second war. France is continuing to fight Spain. Uh, let's just see how much actual damage we've done, if any. France, our ally, is currently at 100,000 manpower out of a maximum of 164. Has he had to take any loans for these wars? Nope. The Ottomans, though... Oh. The Ottomans are apparently occupied? Why do they have negative score due to occupations? Oh, that's not very much. It's only 0.51. I thought that was like 5.1. It hasn't really harmed them much. Spain has obviously had to take loans because of being siege and stuff. They've had to murk up a little bit. We'll just let them keep on doing this. The more they do this, the better. Dissemination of the coffee plant. The price of coffee goes down. And they gain 31 ducats. Fancy. While we are... God, they keep on getting occupied. I started building a fort here, but I think that it, it still hasn't actually finished. It's in progress. But paused. It's like two months away from completion. He's already fielding five troops. We want to get his force limit up so he'll field enough to actually defend himself. Okay, Brandenburg, Silesia. Silesia was Protestant. Brandenburg was Protestant. Um, Brandenburg, we could force to kick out some... We could make him release Saxony. We could make him release Magdeburg. He's also allied to no one else, so that's really quite ideal. Let's get our whole army over here. We're going to declare war on Denmark and co-belligerent Brandenburg. Separate piece Brandenburg for releasing a whole bunch of clay. have the southern army head to Silesia. Lazy colonist? Thanks. We probably got occupied. Whatever province we're trying to colonize probably got occupied. 
these colonial wars are going to be super annoying for a while. Look, English separatists. Boy, it sure would be bad if France were distracted by repetitive, consistent wars with Spain long enough for the English separatists to break free, wouldn't it? <laughs> wouldn't that be awful for him? Hmm. I mean, he has to focus on the the Spanish borders, right? Because because it could be dangerous if he doesn't. Minority expulsion got canceled. Yes, of course it did. I had a feeling that it would. You know, we just we can't keep can't do it while we're doing these clo damn colonial wars with Spain. So we're working our way up. Let's have this army head over onto Shelland. Actually, this guy can go to Holson first. Probably have our diplomats just working on like neighbor countries or something for now. If the Treaty of Westphalia passes, could you potentially have a Coptic Emperor? Yes, of course. You could have a Jewish Emperor. No, that's not true. Jewish is, I think, its own religious group. You could have, um, you could have an Orthodox emperor. It's, they have to be part of the, the Christian religious group. So, Orthodox, Anglican, Reformed, Coptic, any of that. It all works. Empire is now one province stronger. So, Lubeck is adding land to the Empire. This is actually kind of not the ideal for us right now, because it's just going to decay. So, if we need to, what we could do is just... Um, use the Imperial Authority as a resource and do Imperial Blessing. If it's going to decay anyway, then... Like, over the next 20 months, it'll be gone. Alright, I'm going to take a look around and decide... And <coughs> sneeze! Whoa! <laughs> Alright, see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching. I tried to cut the episode before the sneeze. I couldn't do it. I'm sorry. I'll see you in a sec.